that is a 308 Ruger precision rifle and that is a Magpul D50 drum magazine. Now if you're thinking to yourself right now, those two things shouldn't go together, well, that sounds like commie talk to me, and last time I checked, this is America. Today I'm going to see if this magazine does in fact run in the Ruger Precision Rifle. It is an SR25 pattern drum magazine. The RPR does take SR25 magazines, but this one's a little special. So. It is currently loaded with 45 rounds of ammunition. Uh, the first 40 rounds in there are my favorite go-to Tula 165 grain soft point. And the last 10 rounds that will be loaded will be brass. Uh, these are Magtech uh, Sniper quote unquote 168 grain I believe. Now the reason I loaded 40 rounds of steel and 10 rounds of brass is in my experience with the RPR uh, using even regular magazines there is noticeable uh, increase in drag when running the bolt when you're running a double stack magazine and steel ammunition versus brass ammunition so to give the drum a fair shake i'm going to run brass ammo uh, in the last 10 rounds that in theory have the most tension on them from the spring and follower in the magazine so 45 rounds loaded let's get to it Wanted to load the last five rounds on camera just to show how it's done. Not that I'm an expert, but you have this little uh, lever here to take tension off the top round. There you go, it's all 50. Not exactly as easy to load as a standard stick magazine, but nobody said freedom is supposed to be easy. So that's all 50 loaded. You can see the brass at top. If you look carefully through this little window, you can see the steel rounds in there. Target, in case anyone is curious, is a 300 yard silhouette, 12 by 20 inch. But that's besides the point. We should know by this point that this rifle is plenty accurate. So let's go. Seats. Here it goes. got really sticky. It's not the smoothest, but it's running. Like I said, we got to the steel rounds, um, and it is a lot less smooth. I really didn't want to go through 50 rounds of brass 308 today, um, so I'm going to call this a success based on how the first 10 rounds of brass fed. Those would have been the ones to fail, if anything. Let's see if I can feed a few more.
that's 50. The follower doesn't stop the bolt going home, it seems. Um, definitely not the snow this would steal, but I'd call that a success. So, all in all, USA number one. I am never going to financially recover from this.